Hey guys, and welcome back to Afghanistan, where last time I kind of made a mistake, and in Delhi we did lose a bunch of men. So we are kind of pulling back from the war effort right now, and we're hoping we can try and rebuild our army in a short time. But yeah, let's hope, let's hope this war can go well. Hopefully John Perkin handle it mostly without me. I think he should be fine. He's got a lot of men. He doesn't need us. John Per doesn't need us. We need them. Possibly. But Delhi is basically completely now sieged down. So you'd think Delhi would be ready to surrender. But they're still medium. It might change when we get to the next month. We'll have to wait and see. 15,000 men though on either side here. That's 30,000. But Delhi has lost all of its men. And we see John... Oh no, Delhi has men down here. Ready to jump in. There'll be 26. John Per might still be able to handle this. I don't think I could get down there in time to help. Yeah, there's no point me jumping in the help, but will that be enough? Peasants are upset. Ah, you, the, the peasants are revolting. God, look at that. Eight peasants. Okay, so we've got a problem. Luckily, our forts are all ready for this type of thing. I'll just send the men in. Go, my soldiers. Destroy them all. Kill these peasants. I'm sorry, peasants. Uh, I know your families. You know, you, you're probably good people once, but... You know, when you when you put your foot down and go against your leader, your ruler, there's nothing I, you know, I've got to destroy you. Uh, Merchant Guild's no price melons expired. That's a cool look. How did John Per? Did John Per win? It looks like I think John Per lost. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have thought they'd have gone down at least to low exhaustion. And they lost a lot of men. They still have 21,000 left. Yeah. But who's going to fight? These guys? That Why are you sending 3,000 men in to fight? These guys aren't even going to go with help. Very odd. Uh, tyrannical nobles, a representative of the people living in our area, dominated by one of the most prominent families of the Amurs, has approached the throne today imploring the sheiks to take action against what he claims as systematic abuse of power against the people there. Turn a blind eye. One base tax, the Amurs gain loyalty. Ooh, that's a lot of loyalty lost. But one base tax lost. That's a difficult one. Um, we don't have much money either. So losing base tax would be even worse. Uh, let's chastise the landowner. Yeah, we can't afford to be losing more money right now. But we are going to have to try and fix that. Um, I could lose five prestige. Yeah, we could do that. It, that, that's fine. Losing five we just got our prestige basically up, but fine. We'll go back down again. But I need to deal with these peasants before I can help John Per. But it's still we're still winning. Rebels have been successful. Okay, we've got fourteen thousand men here. We've got a leader in charge. We've got too many horses. That has to be said. But we do have more men. This is Mountain though. Is he going to leave? Will you leave? Can you can you leave that mountain maybe for a little bit? Is there a river here? Um, there's a new Holy Roman Emperor, George of Hesse. So the Hesse family, von Hessen, have become the emperors. Surprise there, but a welcome one. So a quick. Oh, that's the China. Yeah, three people chose Hesse over Bavaria, Austria, and Baden, and of course Saxony. They chose Mantua. Okay, 39 princes. Not not that many princes, really. But was there a river? That's what I was looking at, wasn't I? Kabul. There is a river. Was there one from Gaz? Ghazni, yes. Gore. There's not one from Gore. We're going to have to go up to Gore. Let's go up to Gore. We're losing money at an alarming rate. What can I do to change that? Nothing I can really think of right now to change that, which is upsetting. Unpack corruption. Uh, we'll move us towards mysticism, but impact corruption by mind. I could get rid of our corruption right now. Actually, that's a good point. Hmm. I actually want to do that. Let's get rid of the corruption. Uh, we lose all of our corruption, basically. That means we don't have to spend any money on corruption either. So that's good. Um, it didn't really help much, but still. Your corruption, corruption's growing? Really? There you go. Okay. Fine. We'll put them to them as well. 
But yeah, I forgot we could do that. That means we could lower the corruption completely gone. So actually then increasing corruption actually is quite good because then you can just get more legalism and lower it back down. That's kind of a nice thing there. A nice thing you can do there. You can probably do something really nice with that. Some gamey thing with corruption probably. You could probably, I'm sure someone's worked something out. But Delhi's being a uh, de-sieged. But we got our own battle to fight. We're fine in the mountains, but the peasants just didn't have the morale. You know, they're just they're, they're simple folks with simple pitchforks. And we've got the big sticks. There we go. Okay, so we took them down. Let's take this place then. That should be the end of it. We can go in and help out in the war again. There is some noble rebels. We've taken our loan. We're spending way too much. It's fine. The city of Peshawar. A custo As custodians of the holy mosques of Peshawar, we are responsible not only for the holy shrine, a state that claims this honor is also expected to fend for both the population of the holy cities as well as the pilgrims they attract. Hmm. Lose national tax modifier or lose one, one stability. I, I like to have plus one stability. I don't want to go down. I, in fact, I should probably increase that. That's what I'd like to be doing right now. I'm going to have to go for that, I think, for now. But I'm actually going to increase stability because I do like to have a plus one. And that should also help a bit with money. It should, at least. We could do a bit of that. How long would it take? <laughs> okay, 555 months. That's probably a bit too long. I don't have enough men to take on 16,000. So we're going to have to wait until we can grow our army a bit more. We still need more soldiers. Gujarat is now taking down Malwa. Delhi still has 11,000 men. They may have lost all their provinces, basically. But they still got 11,000 men. We need our allies to kind of make, kind of push back into Delhi. Because Delhi is getting high again. Mohammed embarrasses the court. Are you... Are you kidding? Really? This... I should have known. I should have known. That is always going to happen. You, you use your stuff to get stability up. And of course then... Stability goes down straight away. That always happens. That is what that's how the game works. We still need more men to make it even. We've got way too many horses. Renew war taxes, of course. How many men do we have now? So we have we can make four more men. We only need about three more. Yeah, we'll make three more men, and that'll be it. They've now gone. We did keep Lahore. So at least that was good, I guess. So Delhi is completely sieged down still. And looks like the war is... Oh, no, someone went out. With Multan. Really? Multan will cede land to Delhi. Delhi will give them reparation. Oh, wow. Because Multan obviously has the rebellion. They really needed to just peace out. But I guess we can go down here and take that from them. Wait, where are you going? You're going to there. Maybe we could just sneak past them. We have a similar amount of men. And there's 19 down here. But that is good for Delhi. This is kind of what Delhi wanted. They're going to there. We're going to keep a close eye on everyone. 1st of March. Golden era for Portugal. I want to try and get to here. That's what I want. 4th of March. Okay. Stay there. These guys are going to go to there. And what are the other enemies? We've also got separatists over here. 19,016. We should be okay. We seem to be surrounded by allies. I can't see many of our enemies' men. I wish we could go help fight against the Timurids. That would be the perfect thing right now. But then again, all his allies would help. So I guess that's not the way to go. But I guess we could fight Multan. They'd be a pretty easy target right now. And that allied to Sistan. Ooh, that, that's also tasty. But I need to help against Delhi. That's the problem. Do we even have claims? We do not. Okay, I'm going to make some claims against them, actually. Maybe we could go for them. Then we could go against them and Sistan. Both the Tans we can go against. I like it. The seventh. Where are they going to go? Okay, they're going to go back to here, it looks like. So we're good. We can take this. Then we'll go take the other piece. 
and Delhi will be completely sieged out once again. The people will be very sad. But 15,000. Okay, you're going to go into there now. Any enemy could just pop out of here. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I'm worried about. We occupied that land. Someone else is already getting this piece of land, so we could probably bring our men out. Where do we go? Do we help go against Malware? Or do we try and go our own piece? I mean, they are low. We've no diplomats to send. Ah. Probably should look at that one second. Kangra. I guess there's no point in having them in Kangra anymore, is there? Fabricate a claim on Kangra just in case in the future. Maybe we'll stop building one. Good. And we'll take these men back. Okay, pull back, my men. Pull back. Who's Kangra ally? Oh, they've got no allies right now. I mean, we do have a peace, um, I would expect, yeah. In six years, it will end. Multan is 8,000. Sistan is 8,000. They both have 8,000. It'd be 16 against 16, basically. If only we could just get one ally to help. That'd be perfect. We could get that chance of new air. But the we still need to catch up on technologies. Then again, we're not that far behind, it looks like, on technology. Yearly prestige would be nice. We do seem to be low on prestige. War exhaustion costs go down. It would be good to get the next levels up. You know, fort defense and stuff. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do that. Yearly prestige goes... Diplomatic annexation cost goes down as well. That would be nice at some point in the future. We've got 10,000 men now. So Multan looking a little bit more dangerous than before. Uh, I will give you access. That's fine. How are you doing, Timurids? Allies would still help you. Not what I have in mind. Not what I have in mind. And we're still losing lots of money. The Delhi is completely sieged now. Big battle going And we've got a revolt going on. In Balakistan. Why is it always Balakistan? Come on. Deal with your people. Why is this ridiculousness? But looks as though the enemy has got the advantage here. Got 10,000 more, more men going in. I'm sorry, allies. I was, I just wasn't there. I'm too. I'd rather just focus on my thing. I know you're not likely going to give me anything. So, and that was basically done. Give me this. Give me this. No, <laughs> they don't give me anything. Minus. Okay. Surprised they won't give me that. Only just. They're almost about to give me that one piece of land, which would be lovely. We've got to take out his enemies. This war, though, is costing me a lot. And I'm not really getting anything from this. That's what makes it That's what makes it more sad. We'll go attack them. Because they're attacking the capital. Let's go get rid of them. Tip, what, what are you guys doing in my land? Get out. Okay, Great Advisor has died. So at least then we're not spending money on that advisor, I guess. So that could be a good thing. Is Sistan at war? No, Sistan's not involved at all. Just the men are just moving through. Trans obviously sent the men there. How's the rest of the world look? Ottomans still? Oh, no, wait. Okay, they still got a piece of land there. Ottomans and the uh, Mamluks still not bashing heads yet. They're not actually touching each other just yet. We occupied those lands. Oh, wow, Tyrone is taking a chunk out of Scotland. That is surprising. I don't normally see an island go and take out a piece of Scotland. Not in EU4. Crusader Kings 2? Yeah. I I'll see that sometimes, but not in EU4. That is a pleasant surprise. Let's bring our men back. Now, can we help out in the war? They've taken that back, but all their men are around here. So it's going to be hard to take that. We could go down here and take a bit of Malwa. Bengal is low though as well, but we cannot make a separate piece deal with them. We can't though, but maybe John Per can. The Timurids have got regiments from Sistan, basically all their men. Does that mean it's a good time to attack them? I, I don't know. <laughs> when their men are fighting with the Timurids, we could just go attack them. There's too many enemies around there. We're going to have to go this way. 
Let's go down this way. Let's go attack Malwa. Maybe Jumper can try and piece them out, possibly. But Bengal... Not really sieged down much, but... They obviously are quite low on morale. We're nearly 26,000. So maybe us two being quite close together, we can help each other out. That's going to cost me so much money! This stupid war. I'm not even sure if I want us to win. Might be easy if we don't win. Might be good for me if Jumper don't increase their power. Okay, so they're kind of sieging us all back now. Um, Jumper, we, we need to be going on the attacker. You know, we need to be getting back involved. Maybe you should take that. I guess you're taking back that fortress. Okay, so 64% chance. Delhi occupied Salkot. So, Malwa has actually pieced out. So, actually, what we wanted to do was actually what happened. They were sealed land to John Purr. They'll pay lots of money. We get six. We get six. That's all 16. I guess we didn't help much. But, yeah. So, now Malwa looks a bit of a mess, which is fine. We're going to take our men back, though. Because we're now technically trespassing. We've got exiled men. This brings just Bengal and Delhi, both on low morale. So I could definitely see him piecing out Bengal and just a white piece. And that takes out most of the men as well. So this really should... John Perk could probably defeat them on his own. Actually. Yeah. So maybe I should be looking to what I want to do next. Timurid. So you winning? Minus 85. Wow. Khorasan could be on a big win here. Ooh, Nogai will not help. Mara, Fagana, and Sin. Sin's not much help. I don't know much about the other two. Marga, Fagana, that's the two kind of people that were their allies. Fagana's up here. The Siege of Lahore is over. It looks like this will be the end of them. We're going to try and take that back because that was what we had before. So I'd like to go take it back. Could we take on the Timrids in this weakened state? I mean, they're about to lose that war, so maybe it's too late. And we're going to go fight. We've got more men. We've got 12,000 men going back. They're running away. And we were able to beat the Bengal army. Good job, men. We hardly lost any men. And they lost quite a bit. So good job. And that should probably help. No, Bengal's got a medium morale now. I was hoping I'd probably take them down a bit more. 28 Delian Separatists. That's uh, not good. I, did, you, did you just go on my land? Delhi? Have you just come to attack me? You, I'm, and now I'm facing the peasants. Great. I hate that. I hate when you go into enemy territory and the peasants just rise up right on top of you. So we just lost a ton of men, in fact. Uh, warriors do not... I just lost stability again. This is this is like the worst case scenario stuff going on right now. Lumen disaster. This is like the worst case scenario of things happening right now. Ugh. Playing the courts. While the Hanafi school is the officially sanctioned school of the Sheikdom, there are many courts and quaddies throughout our lands, and all four of the schools of faith are deemed appropriate for civil procedures. The man is dealt with. Go towards... I do like legalism. Uh, play in the courts until then. Monthly autonomy change. Okay. Properties must come before theology. Let's go for this one. I'm going to go for that one. I think we could definitely piece out Bengal. That'd be perfect if we could. Lahore, I want to take down. And I'll be happy. Building any more men? No. What are we on right now? 18. I think we could afford to build one more man. They're going to come to attack me. We've got John Purr right next to me. I hope John Purr are going to come help. If they do not come out, I'm going to be upset. Uh, Takia. It, just, it really sounds very similar to like, Tequila! Tequila! Da, 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 da. For centuries, many of the followers of Ali have considered it necessary to hide themselves. I do like tequila, actually. I have to say. Uh, tequila slammers with the salt and the lemon. Mm, always nice. Uh, we cannot tolerate heretics. Lose prestige again. <laughs> this is just these events that keep popping up for me. I just 
it, it's like the game things. What is probably the worst thing he could get? And my allies aren't going to come help. Are you kidding me? Jean Per, look, we are fighting right next to you. My men are dying. You son of a. I. Okay, that's it. I just. <sighs> huh. Was that my own fault because I told him to go attack this? I didn't actually, did I? No, I didn't tell him to go attack it. Are you kidding me, Jean Per? You were 29th and Gujarat. Okay, Gujarat had 1,000 men there. You were 28,000 men there, and you didn't want to come help. This is... Okay, John Per. This is the last time I help you. I... 21% now. I did, I did a good job. But no more, and we have no money now. I had to completely rebuild the army. That... I'm, I'm very upset. That is the last time I'm going out my way to help John Per. I can tell you that much right now. And this means we cannot go to war with the Timurids, Sistan, and Multan. We can't go to war against any of them. Because we currently don't even have an army. Ugh. War exhaustion's high. Great. Lumen disaster. It's fine. Currently at 5%. That's religious unity. The fallen effects. Okay. Great, great, great. Uh, the war is over. Uh, Delhi will seed land... Panapat and Jangladesh to Juan Per announce their claims, pay 22 ducats, and we get four. Great. That was so worth it. Thank you, Juan Per. At least I gained favors from them, I guess. Yeah, I guess, you know what? I guess we did get favors, but now Juan Per is so big that I'm kind of worried as well. Not happy. Gotta say, <laughs> you guys know it by now. I think I've made it pretty clear. I'm not happy at all with that. Juan Per, next time we, we fight. I'm not going to put in anywhere near the effort. I, I hardly put in any effort in that war anyway. Next time I'm going to put even less effort. Okay, Timurids. No other wars, but it's gone down to minus 22. So they're doing a good job of bringing it back, it looks like. Kermanus, so they're fine. They love us, apparently. They love me. They would never become my vassal, though. But you never know in the future. Let's go and actually delete all the stuff. So, mothball the forts. Let's try and make as much money as we can. We need to do that. Uh, Army maintenance, let's take that down. Let's try and make as much money as we can. We'll keep him. To promote. Oh, yeah, we can promote them now as well, can't we? Let's that's, say that's, there's so many cool things. We spent so much money for that war. We lost a ridiculous amount of men. And for what? Nothing, Jwamper. Nothing. Stupid allies. See, this is, this is why I don't like allies. This is why I don't like helping allies sometimes, because you feel like you get screwed over. I want to be the, I want to be the one doing the screwing over. I don't want to be the one screwed over. That's not how I like to play. Not how I like to play at all. Truce has expired. Thank you very much. Can I this, this disaster go away? Have land maintenance under 100%. At this rate, until we'll start. 1506. Hmm. We can't increase religious unity. Land maintenance needs to be 100%. So there we go. That is done, but I'm not going to get religious unity to 100%. There's no way. 555 months. I don't think that's going to work. Um, just, just point it out there. So how can I stop you? Currently in disaster. Unrest lower than zero. Okay. Well, the following must be true. Unrest lower than... So we got to lower unrest. Okay, so that statesman has died. That's fine. So we got to lower the unrest. That is the only way to stop it, apparently. Hmm. Well... We've got we got a little bit of unrest. Uh, Siri is kind of the main one. I guess we could increase autonomy, possibly. We can. That'll get rid of that. Okay, let's try and get it all down. Quetta. Where's Quetta? Okay, here we go. We can't increase that one. That is a shame. Um, Kalat. Can't do that one either. Nagari. We got stability up. Yeah, we've already done those places. That's why. 
Mm, how are we going to get those up? How can we do that? Unrest. War exhaustion is high. That is probably affecting it quite a bit. Disorder, religious unity. Okay. War exhaustion is probably the big, one of the biggest things. So let's get war exhaustion down. Reduce. Let's get that down. By two. Do it again. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that should get it down further. That means unrest has gone down quite a, lo a lot. Only these two places really have it. So if we can just bring all our men to these places. And we're making a bit of money now. So let's keep making some men. And let's build some horses. Duh, I can't... That that was not how I wanted things to go. That that went completely against me in that time. Well, there we go. The, dis the, the war, the possible disaster has been diverted. There we go. See, everyone's happy. We've managed to fix that problem. Okay. No Whoa, Nogay is being absolutely destroyed right now. But the Uzbeks... Uzbeks could, could, be, could be coming on down. They could be coming on down very soon. Khorasan, they're still losing quite badly. Multan. Transfars, Multan. If we went to war against you, Trans would not help. But we'd have Multan. I might as well just attack Multan if I'm going to do that. No guy would not help. Because Poland is a rival. It's announced France as a new rival. And John Purr's getting close. We'll definitely have to make a move at some point in the future. The Pilgrims are safe. We gain... Okay, great. Finally, something good. Something good actually happens. The, there we go. Well, aren't we happy? Aren't we a happy lad? Let's make a couple of horses. There we go. So we're now on to about 10. We still need to make a lot more men. We need to be making more money. Luckily, we are making quite a bit of money. But once we get the army back up and running, we can think about where to take this next time. I guess I'll see you then. God, let's, let's hope we can try and get out of this mess. I hope we can. I'll see you then.